Now let's do addition of fractions na ang gamitin natin ay yung butterfly method. At yung tanong na kailan natin gamitin yung butterfly method. Lagi ba natin, or pwede ba dating laging gagamitin yung butterfly method? So anyway, let's do number one. One half plus two over three. Itong si three, madivide ba ni two? Hindi. So now let's do the butterfly method. One times three, and this is three. Two times two, and that is four. I-add natin yan siya. Two times three, and that is six. Now, kopyahin natin yung denominator na six. Yung mga numerators, three plus four, and this is seven. Improper fraction yan siya, kasi mas malaki yung numerator natin kay ni denominator. Kaka-upload lang natin kung paano ito i-convert or i-simplify. And this is 1 and 1, 6. Paano yan ulit? 7 divided by 6. Ilang 6 sa 7? Isa lang. 1 times 6 and that is 6. 7 minus 6 equals 1. Itong 1 na yan, yan yung whole number natin. Itong remainder na 1, yan yung numerator. At kinopya lang natin yung denominator or yung divisor natin na 6. Next, itong si 10, ma-divide ba ni 7? Hindi. Doon tayo sa butterfly method. 2 times 10, and that is 20. 6 times 7, and this is 42. At i-add natin yan sa 20. 7 times 10, and that is 70. Kopyahin yung 70 na denominator. Yung numerator natin, 20 plus 42, and this is 62. Mas simplify natin itong 62 over 70 by finding the greatest common factor. And by the way, para sa detali kung paano hanapin yung greatest common factor, pwede kayong pumunta sa ating YouTube channel at hanapin. Greatest common factor at idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na nating na-upload regarding sa greatest common factor. Now, ang greatest common factor sa dalawa ay 2. 62 divided by 2, this is 31. 70 divided by 2, this is 35. Next, tingnan muna natin yung mga denominators. Yung pinakamalaki dyan ay yung 9. Yung 9, ma-divide ba sa 2? Hindi. So, gamitan natin siya ng butterfly method. 5 times 2, and that is 10. 1 times 9 equals 9, so this is plus 9. 9 times 2, and that is 18. Kopyahin muna natin si 18 na denominator. 10 plus 9, and that is 19. Improper fraction ulit. So, kailangan natin itong i-convert into or simplify natin. So, magiging mixed number ito. So, this is 1 and 1 over 18. Paano nga yan ulit? 19 divided by 18. Ilang 18 sa 19? Isa lang. 1 times 18 equals 18. 19 minus 18 and that is 1. So, yung 1 dito, yan yung whole number. At itong remainder, remainder na 1, yan yung numerator at kinopya lang natin si 18 na denominator. Next, tingnan ulit natin yung mismong denominators natin. Si 7 at saka si 4, si 7 mas malaki. Si 7, ma-divide ba ni 4? Hindi. So, gamitan natin siya ng butterfly method. 2 times 4, and this is... 8. 1 times 7, and that is 7. So, i-add natin siya sa 8. 7 times 4, and this is 28. Kopyahin muna natin yung denominator na 28. 8 plus 7, and that is 15. 
15 over 28, hindi na natin yan malist kasi ang greatest common factor sa dalawa ay 1. So, yan na yung final answer dyan. Tingnan ulit natin yung mga denominators dito. Itong si 10, ma-divide siya sa 5. So, therefore, hindi natin yan gamitan ng butterfly method. Kopyahin natin si 4 over 10 plus Itong 4 over 5, i-convert natin yan in such a way na yung denominator niya ay magiging 10. 10 divided by 5 and that is 2. 2 times 4 was 8. So, pwede na natin itong i-add. Kopyahin yung denominator na 10. 4 plus 8 and that is 12. 12 over 10, ay malist pa natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 2. 12 divided by 2, and that is 6. 10 divided by 2, and that is 5. Now, improper fraction pa rin yung 6 over 5. So, kailangan natin yung is simplify. Itong 6 over 5, this is 1 and 1 fifth. Paano? 6 divided by 5, Ilang 5 sa 6, isa lang. 1 times 5 and that is 5. 6 minus 5 and this is 1. So, itong 1 na yan, yan yung whole number natin. Remainder, yan yung mismong numerator at kinopya lang natin yung denominator na 5. Next. Yung 12, yung pinakamalaking denominator natin ay hindi yan ma-divide sa 11. So, butterfly method. 1 times 12, and that is 12. 2 times 11, and that is 22. So, i-add natin yan sa 12. Yung mga denominators natin, 11 times 12, and that is 132. Kung naalala nyo, kaka-upload lang natin kung paano mag-multiply kung 11. 11 lang ang gamitin natin. Kopyahin itong 1, ito namang 2 dito sa pang last. At i-add lang natin to 1 plus 2 and that is 3. Kaya ang sagot 132. So, kopyahin lang natin itong denominator na 132. Yung mga numerators natin, 12 plus 22 and that is 34. Next, itong 34 over 132 ay malis natin yan by finding the greatest common factor which is 2. So, 32 divided by 2 and this is um, 17 over 17 yan. 132 divided by 2 and this is 66. So, therefore, ang sagot dito ay 17 over 66. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayong naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.